Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for part 23 of our War Tales playthrough. Uh, where we left off, we are currently leveling up a new ranger with the poisoner capabilities. Uh, we're going around doing some uh, some easy side tasks to continue leveling him up. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. We're out here taking care of these while also earning money. So that way, when new content does get added to the game, we'll be having a very good start on it. We'll have plenty of money. Oh, we have to camp already. Plenty of money, a whole band of level fives with several capabilities across the board. Everyone is unique. So we're looking really good in this regard. I am going to definitely need some beans and stuff soon. Let's just do that. That's fine. I think we need one more sleep to get this, whatever this is, fragments of a precious item. It's probably just like a sapphire or something, but all the same. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for part 23 of the War Tales playthrough. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video so that way YouTube will recommend it to more folks. I really appreciate it, guys. Still enjoying the heck out of this game. I, I just can't get enough of it. I'm, I'm really sad that we got through all the content in the game already, but that's okay because we're still finding some stuff to do. We might even be able to, after we level up Nicked, consider getting another person in the uh, the group here. Maybe someone that uses like a, a falchion or something along those lines that has a bit of a, a knockback on their sword. Our target is somewhere in the woods over here that we can't quite reach. Yeah, I can't go out there to fight them. Oh, there they are. Oh, thank God we didn't get ambushed. Okay, let's fight him. All right, leader's aggression. Where is leader? Van Wim the Tyrant. Okay, these guys are always dealing critical hits, so he's going to have to go down right away. Can't be having any of that go on. Um, Nicked is right here. Put him in the back. Put Tryroll over here. Hmm. I think we have enough room to get everyone over here on the left, so let's do that. This isn't a particularly particularly dangerous fight, but I'd rather everyone grouped up here. Kath on the flank here is good. Let's put Kath here. Put Silo in the back here. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. Very nice. Excellent news. Let's see if Kath can outstrength this Marauder. She doesn't. She actually does not outstrength this Marauder. I wonder if weakening... It says damage was reduced by 30%. I, I, I really wish weakening... Oh, man. Could you imagine if weakening directly took down their strength? That would be something. That would be something crazy. Oof. Four damage. Oof. Oof. All right, who's up next? This poacher, this hoodlum. Couldn't get this out like so. All right, let's hit this spear. Um, 
There we go. The fact that we can lacerate off of that is kind of crazy. kill that guy off and we are galvanized right, that poacher is going to go up next no matter what so let's just let's just shoot him <laughs> hell of a spot to go to do that When he levels up, he'll get a little bit more movement, so it's okay. Dude, I love that so much. And what we want to do is kill that guy with your ally, because that means on the next turn we can kill this guy with Kath. Kath couldn't outstrength the other guy, so we wouldn't be able to guarantee that kill. But this way, we guarantee both kills right here. And the backstab damage. Okay, that job's done. Now we need to go to the northwest, I believe. Or, well, northeast, even. Easy does it. I should have tried to have done more with uh, Nicked there. But I think everyone gets experience just based on being in the fight in general, so. Let's right, turn in this task so it'll start working on uh, unlocking the next one while we're here. I just used all my stamina. Whoops. This guy's all the way up at the end of the playable area here. You know, um, something else that I just remembered. When we first crossed into the Vertruce province through the Gossenberg border crossing, we helped a guy by paying for his border crossing 200 crowns to do so, and we never saw him again because he went to the capital, which I believe is called Gossenberg itself. And that's not something that's actually in the game currently. I forgot all about that. We paid for his crossing... So that way, uh, we could potentially be paid back more so later on. 
he said that you know he's got a rich uncle or something in the city that he would uh you know ask him to pay us pay us back for paying for his passage over the border all right here's these guys right at the edge of the playable area there we go mentos the coward Right, he's right here, and he has fragility on. Oh, what the heck? All these guys are back here. I uh, don't know about Nick's placement there. Let's trade with Kath. And put your ally right behind her. Regit will go over here. And Silo can be the backup, I think. And Tryro will assist as well. Everyone else is going to go to the right side here. All right, let's do our thing. Regit, as per usual, will open things up. With just a quick poke and a kill. Okay. Very good. Let's get you in here to finish this guy off. Damn. Damn. All right, uh, let's see. This guy's going up next. I don't think there's going to be a way for me realistically to kill him. Let's see what kind of damage the spear will do. Eight. I mean, yeah, screw it. 14 crit. Just get rid of that guy so he can't do any damage. That way you don't have to repair their armors. Okay, just because this is going to be fun. We can definitely outstrength this hoodlum. Just absolutely crush this man. There you go. The weakening blow to finish off. Uh, do we have any more movement? Oh, not enough to make it to that spear, unfortunately. And we're going to put you right in front of this guy, though, so that way he attacks you. I wanted to apply poison there, but no valor points. That was a weird move, dude. That was a really weird thing to do. But is what it is. Okay. GG. Oh, I forgot about this poacher all the way over here. Not GG yet. <laughs> Not GG yet. Maybe the one shot? The one shot. Very nice. Look at that. We got a doll. Look at that. We got a doll.
All right, job's done there. That job is essentially just going to pay for the wages for the day. Okay. Now that we have that done, there might be another small task for us to do here. Maybe. Nope. 18 hours and 9 hours. We do need to camp, though, so let's just do that. Before we camp, let's see the markets. It's just an odd predicament to be in. Um, using like grapes and apples to fill up the rest of that. I mean, we have some mutton as well, but this guy's just the hair pusher. Still not sure what that does for us. How about you? You have anything? I mean, you have wheat. Wheat's nice. We can make bread with that specifically to help fill this gap. I guess we could grill some pork, too. That's not all bad. Let's use this to make apple pancakes instead. And we'll go ahead and grill some pork. That's better. Much better. Smooth tablet antiquity. This object is strange enough to be quite valuable. Its surface is entirely flat and blank. Huh. Okay, we have one of these we can put here. Oh, it's two of them. We just stack them up. I'm not sure if it'll allow them to research both. At the same time, I guess we'll do it for science. Let's make a save. I think it's just a sellable item, right? Yeah, we just sell it for 100 crowns, I guess. 105. Yeah, I mean, easy money. Easy money on the passive just for doing what we'll, we already do. Not a lot of valor points, but let's just go ahead and move on down to the next. Oh, wait, hold on. More tasks up here. Ublin squad. All right, right on back where we came from. I wonder if there's a way, like, if we have these overlap just right. We might be able to make it so these just kind of... We run up here, we do a thing, go back to town, turn it in, rest, accept another thing, repeat. I wonder if that's a possibility here. Not so much uh, an exploit as much as it is just kind of running the clock in a certain way. Because getting all the way up here uses... I don't know. Maybe a third of the day? Running back would be another third. Alright, they're out of the playable area right there. There you go, come on in. Nice. 
Ublin the Tyrant is all the way down there. He's got 36 guard with a ton of armor. Unfortunate. Damage taken reduced by 30%. That's not so bad. Uh, that, that's much more workable than dealing increased damage. Keep your ally with Kath. It's a great combo there. I feel like Sesrathu should be here to throw this spear if anyone moves up this way. I also feel like she should be there so that Raider doesn't kill Hackard or something. I'm going to send Regit right in here to get this started, but I don't know if it's going to go well. I did save before the fight, so. I don't think Regit's going to be able to kill him, though, unfortunately. Maybe we get someone else to follow in behind him. Maybe Silelt? I guess we could do Nicked as well, because he can apply a bunch of poison really quick. Let's see how this goes. I could have gotten that guy in the damage as well, but I'm going to see if I can just focus this guy down. 74 bloodshed. So on his next move, he's going to die guaranteed anyway. I guess I don't have to worry about that now. As soon as he makes a move, he dies. Interesting move. Uh-oh. No, I mean, not so bad. All right, let's try this for science. He's got 28. Oh, no, we need... I, I want to make sure that we can kill this guy. So that way the damage applies normally. So let's not... Hmm... Should outstrength them, yeah? Oh yeah, for sure. Alright, I feel like we should go for that bomber. Just lock him down. He ain't going to be able to do anything here. And I don't want to use Lacerate yet. So we're going to go ahead and wait on this. You just have so many bombers. Just Nick getting one out of the way is good. Let's try this. I mean, that's fine. That bomber can't do much anyway. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're a lie, man. Or uh, Eurigenia, rather. Eesh. Um. 
that was about the smallest brain move I've ever seen from AI in this game. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, so for fun, let's do this. Good crits. Let's move up here out of the way of my own poison bomb. Because I don't know if it's going to actually affect me as well. Okay, so he's got four stacks of poison on him. Twenty-seven. And that's with 30% damage reduction because of the uh, leader's protection. Not bad, though. All right, Regit is in danger, but the boss is now dead. So we're galvanized and the protection is now gone. So I'd imagine they're going to go for try roll here. Let's just get you right over here. Not sure if that was worth it for them. But since he's engaged on that, we can move right there, not catch on fire, and get a backstab. And then use smokescreen for additional damage. Just get him out of the game. Smokescreen is still very good. Then we're going to move him up a little bit so that way he's the one that's targeted. Get some heat off of Tri-Roll. There we go. Good. Oh, of course you crit me. Okay. You are going to go after this uh, bomber man here. Hopefully one shot him. Nice. Okay, uh, this was a bit of a mistake. I should have attacked with Hacker and then you're a lie. So that way, um, I guess it doesn't matter. We're not getting backstab damage no matter what anyway. This is fine. All right. Now there's one more down here. Let's just throw in the smoke screen here. Get some additional damage. Make sure this guy actually dies. Yeah, there we go. See ya. Oh, that crunch, man. Okay. So I'm trying to remember if anywhere that I've been, if anyone was ever selling some pristine essence, I got one from somewhere earlier in the game, but I think it was as a reward for a task or something. I'd love to be able to get some more so I can apply it to Viper. Nick's, uh, dagger. I like the poisoner build all around though. So far, it does pretty solid damage. And once we're at a point where he can move a little bit further and uh, we can have, you know, more Valor points on the regular, I'm pretty much just shorting myself overall. I could definitely go in with more, but we're in a decent spot. Okay. 
All right, that's hard difficulty, so we're going to skip out on that. We still have this thing for looting the Children of the Beast camp as well. I think we should stop there really quick and see if we can actually figure that out. It just says to loot it. But we've already looted it. Yeah, there's nothing here. I mean, do they want me to steal from them? Our apologies to the weaver. There's just nothing else here to loot, so it's like the only thing I can think to do is just steal from them really fast. I mean, let's see what happens here. Oh no. Oh no, I'm wanted. Oh no. Well, that certainly didn't do it for me. Okay, let's reload. Just wanted to see for science if that would change anything up, but it didn't. Just made me wanted. All right, we're going to go back to Stromcap, see what we have going on down there. Also, is there any other things? We have Shining in the Water over there. Swarm of Vertruce over there. Still haven't handed over a prisoner. Alright, that's another nightmare hunting thing. That's for a horse I never took. We're supposed to take out that bandit's lair. Maybe we can go do that. This one up here as well. I don't know how much is to that bandit's lair up here, though. If there's more than just like one uh, group, though, that's incredibly difficult to do. Yeah, there's three there. It's not exactly an easy job. The last time I went to a bandit's lair when there was like there was like uh five of those skulls over it and there was like 40 enemies. So if you do the quick math, we do that, there'd be 24 enemies there. Not exactly an easy fight. All right, we're gonna have to camp in a moment, so let's stay over here. And getting pretty close to level four. See if these guys have anything cool. Nope, all around. All right, so the usual tasks from Stromcap are usually just go sell stuff in Korsha and bring information to Marheim, so not expecting anything great here. Yeah, there's the Korsha thing, there's the Marheim thing. 
You have these bandits layer things still. I think we can accept this one. Yeah, that's the one up there. Guess we'll take this too. May as well. Damn. All right, let's go ahead and fill up on our repair stuff. Oh, we didn't really use that many. Still no beans. All right, is it pottery that we need to take down there? Woolen cloth in Korsha. Okay, let's make our way down there. Hey, talk to me. All right, unfortunately, nothing there. We're going to swing by this bandit lair here. It says hard difficulty, but we're going to see how many, uh, how many groups are there. If it's more than one, it's going to be pretty difficult. So we'll not do that for now, but. I think we go there by going this way. Some wolves up here as well. Yeah, three groups there, too. So I think in order for us to really take these on, let's fight these wolves. 18 level 5? Ooh. Ooh. That's a lot of wolves. Okay. Such a weird placement on these larger fights. Do not like that placement there whatsoever. But no matter what we do, there's gonna be have to there's gonna have to be a couple people back here, so who's got fragility on you? Let's get Reg it here because you throw the spear and then start smashing these guys. Hmm. I think we want Kath over here to take the heats. And I like the archers over here. I think this is what we want to do. All right, let's get started. They're both going to die for sure, so I guess we'll move over 
here and just rampage this one. I was hoping I would do a little more damage, but that's okay. I could have wrath that guy, I guess. But okay. Yeah, that's, now this one's dead. And now Calf. I'd imagine Calf outstrengths this. Yeah, very much so. All right, Regit is now my big concern. Who's going next? That one's going to be going soon. He's probably going to hit try roll. That one's going to be going after you. Guess we'll just go this way with this. Should work out. Oh, you're going for Sessethood? Okay. That's honestly better. All right, so now we can Wrath this, and then if we can move Sessor right here and hit both of these guys with a Lacerate, that would be... No, we can't. Shoot. I wish Sessor had a little bit more movement on her. Just a little bit. I think I might uh, see about getting like a movement armor layer, if that's possible at some points. Her movement's so disappointing. She's always just shy of where I need her to be. Um, I guess we'll just take you out. We're going to move you right here so you're very clear of your Originia shots. This is just hilarious. Okay, that's good. Um, Hackerts. Let's get Hacker all the way over here on this guy. Just lock him down, make, make it so he can't move anywhere else. Beautiful. And then... Nicked. That's good damage. 
Alright, let's uh, get you up here. I kind of want to get another uh, another shield shield warrior like Kath because so incredibly tanky. So incredibly tanky. All right, let's go ahead and get your uh, other stab in here. Unfortunate that you didn't die there, but. This is going to be usable here. Probably not. No. That's what I was waiting for. Just on that guy to move up a little bit so we can just get one attack on them both. No, we're going to take all the meat that we can get out of this. Lots and lots of wolf sausage. Nice. Okay. Um, we're actually able to just hold all that carcass, huh? Isn't there something that we can make to deal with carcass, though? Or am I crazy? Meat drying rack? It says meat and fish can be laid out on this rack. I don't know what that actually does for us, though. Hmm. We need a saddlebag for that pony there, too. Allow me to make that really fast. Okay. We'll just use the carcass for now to feed. I'll have to look into seeing what the uh, meat drying rack does for us. If it allows us to take carcass that we get and like put the carcass on there and make more meat out of it, then I'm down for that. But I'm not sure what it'll do for us otherwise. Hey guys, do me a favor. If you've made it to this point in the video, make sure you leave a like on it so YouTube will recommend it to more like-minded folks. I really appreciate it. Okay, Con County of Arthas in the Kingdom of Edoran. Need to go down here, sell some of this uh, woolen cloth, as well as see what other tasks we have in the vicinity. Almost 4,000 gold. We do have a day's wages of 
to, uh, to pay. But this task should take care of that just fine. I kind of like that there's tasks built into the game that involve travel because it makes it so it's more worth your while. Helps, you know, take the sting off of the, uh, the wages. Beans. Okay. Inform Strom Cap. And then assassinate Lucisa's troop. Don't mind if I do. Well, let's see if we can go bigger on this one. Nice. 321 gold for an easy one. Uh, let's see about... Do we have... No, I thought there was a movement-based armor layer. Maybe there still is. I just haven't learned how to make it. No? It does look like we might have a couple more armor layers we can create, so maybe there's scrolls for them at one of the tracking or tracker camps still. We'll have to figure that out. Though, getting more knowledge is going to be tough. I don't know if we can actually get any more knowledge at this point in the game with what's on offer currently. Okay, uh, we need to camp, and then we can go. Well, let's... Start our movement, make the most of this. There we go. Okay, getting pretty close. All right, guys, here you are. Let's make a save. Who sees the bone splitter? Still have over a thousand influence despite spending it like crazy. Okay, that's a great position for you and you're fr fragile. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that's nice. Let's put you here. Should be able to outstrength. Maybe the hired killer? Silent Nick, Regit's there. Put you there. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Or not, but for some reason I feel like we're missing somebody. Huh. Okay. Let's do this thing. This guy actually doesn't have a leader's bonus of any kind. Pathetic. Um, yeah. Reg is going to be a little bit better off than these two taking damage. Well, that was a mistake, sir. Oh, you actually don't outstrength him? Damn. 
Damn. Okay. All right, that guy's going to die on his next turn no matter what, so I'm not worried about that Ravager. This crewmate's going to be a little bit different story, however. Let's get in position to uh, defend. Not going to use him. I right, can move right there and get a double swing. So let's hit this spear first. see about you getting over here to get a backstab I think or well you know There's only one two three four people left yeah this is fine just make sure I don't miss there you go. All right, move back a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if this guy's going to be able to hit us all or not. I'm not sure if that's what he can do. Uh, let's see here. Let's not do that for the sake of it's kind of a waste right now anyway. We just build build up valor points on this instead of spending them. And splat. <laughs> Okay, Nicked. I, I want to see what this guy can do. So we're going to spend some Valor Points on this. Alright, four stacks of Poison. Plus Galvanized. 44 damage. I like it. Damn. Maybe some someone should go over and help your ally. Oh no, we got Regit right here. She's good. She's good. Let's just finish him off. Get brutality on this right here, too. Bonk. I 
I just realized this has Team Strike capacity. It looks like a pretty cool ability. Damage increase for 50% for each adjacent ally. Imagine if you had like three people using the same sword. How much damage you could really stack up with that. It could be interesting. Have a bunch of seal, uh, shore, uh, wow. Shored and sealed warriors. <laughs> Have a bunch of sh uh, shield and sword warriors, sword and board, and just go at it with that. It could be interesting. Okay, we got that. We can go back up to Stromcap to inform. I know we're doing a lot of uh, running back and forth, but as I explained earlier, we're just trying to level up Nicks and uh, just kind of stack up a bunch of money so that way when more content joins the game, you know, when it's dropped into the game, we'll be able to really take on some tough stuff. Let's see about this improvised burning stake thing, though. Not yet completed this. Let's see about it. Not a heretic. Yeah, so it wasn't it just like lightning struck their house or something? Yeah, her house has been struck by the light's wrath. We require no further proof of her, proof of her sins. That just seems terrible. Possibly donate a few logs in exchange for our blessing? Yeah, dude, I'm sorry, but... Uh, I'm attacking you. Okay, level 5. Oh, they have zealots, fanatics, and purifiers. These guys are actually kind of tough. Let's see how this goes. Don't like the idea of them just killing a person because lightning struck their house. Like, they were already unlucky. It just seems weird to me. Leader's willpower. The damage of this unit and their allies is increased by 40% for each bonus applied to their targets. That seems insane. Where's the leader? All the way over there. Damn it. Of course he is. Okay, so this might be an unreasonably tough fight just based on positioning here. Inquisitor Richinen is Arikinen is all the way back here. Forty percent for each bonus applied to their targets. Hmm. <clears throat> I fear death on this. We're so split in so many ways, too. We instantly got rid of uh, two there, so that's solid. Uh, 
Uh, let's see if you can overstrength this guy. Nope. That's okay, though. What we can do is just weaken him as well. So that way, when he does attack, he doesn't really have much going on. He's going to take just under half his health in direct health damage. Also, what I need to start doing on Regit is not using the spear to open up. Because while the spear is a guaranteed kill, we might get two guaranteed kills with... Because uh, he has the first strike bonus uh, where he does uh, like 150% damage instead of just 100. Uh, so he just gets a huge bonus there. I need to make sure that I apply that on as many targets as possible instead of just one. So what we can do is like swing back up and then take a spear. If that makes sense. All right, so something that I just learned uh, with Cesar Thude, uh, Valorous Duel, every time this unit engages in combat, you gain one Valor point. Even though I engaged in combat on this guy, I basically just 100, well, not 100, but we basically just walked up and killed him. So it didn't actually consider us in like a duel there with him. It just kind of killed him. So that's something that I don't know if I really like. Uh, I feel like we did engage in combat there and we should have been rewarded as such. But yeah. All right, we're gonna have to leave your ally here so that way your doesn't take heat. This guy might run right through us all, though. That guy's guard is gone, though, so that's good. Oh, it's that type of swing. Okay. There you go. Guess we'll just get you. Well, maybe we should go here to take some heat off as well. got deflection on all right let's see what we can do um are we we're gonna have a few attacks here so let's get sester food in here right here Yes. All 
Uh, we'll go ahead and wrath this. Get that guy out of the line. All right, this cell's going to go soon. Put you here. Stab this guy. That's good damage. All right, we want to get Hacker. Get that kill, so that way we get the Valor points. Then we're going to move you right here and heal your Rigenia a little bit. And I kind of wish there was a straight up healer mercenary. It doesn't really fit so much with like, like, I'm not saying this game is realistic, but they have more real world things where healing isn't like an instantaneous thing that happens. Oh my God. Good damage. Okay, so we have three more people over here. Nice. All right, good stuff. Actually, took a couple squares of movement off the Purify there, too. That's good. Let's get you up on the side, ready to go. Oh, good. Just out of range. Excellent news. Possibly we might be able to get a triple hit with uh try roll on the next go. Very possible there. Yep. And that guy's dead too. Damn, good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and apply a slowdown to the bigger guy here. Knock him back a little bit. Separate these two. The guy can barely move as is. It's taking three turns to move like half a screen. So right, we're going to do that and then we're going to push him back so he's not taking heats. As far as this goes, I'm not really sure who to send in on the front line. I would love to get uh, Kath in here, but... Slow. Right, let's move you up on the side here. You we're going to put right behind Kath. That's where you benefit the most. You right behind them. You will move all the way down here, like so. This is more just uh, getting everyone positioned. <laughs> he can barely move. That's so fun. That's fine. You really don't hurt that much.
Nice. Building up all these Valor points. Alright, Regit's still full health. We can just get right on the other side of this guy and just start hammering like crazy. Plus, he's going to take 35 direct health damage on that. Oh, he's actually engaged now, too. So we might be able to just kill him here. Yeah, let's just do this. Get rid of him. Very nice. Inquisition mace. Okay, yeah, this is a mace. Um, 20 to 40% strength damage to the target and hits again until fever is applied. Each attack increases the chance to apply this effect by 20%. That's a very interesting, uh, very interesting thing. So if you purposely run really high strength on a character, this would have been cool to try out on Kath, uh previously. Obviously what we have now is better, but... Inquisition Gambeson, medium armor. Damn. All right, so we cleared them out. Let's talk to you. I'm so grateful you saved my life here. Take this. It's all that I could save when the Inquisition came to get me. Sapphire and poisonous oil. Oh my God, that's huge. Would you take me with you as one of your companions? I mean, I could make myself useful. I am well versed in the arcane arts of alchemy. You're a level five ranger. What the heck? I'm sitting here leveling a ranger up. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Let's recruit you for free as well. Wild. I should have done that so much earlier. If I had known that would be the result. Cannons doubt she's up to the task. Why would they doubt? Why are you doubting? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's see about you. Yeah, we can just immediately get you as a poisoner. Um, is there a way? Hmm. We could dismiss Nicked. Uh, so it's weird because, I mean, I guess we could have two poisoners. So that way poison just spreads like crazy. But I don't really know how to feel about that idea. Cutthroat relies on us getting an ambush. Oh no, ambush. Triggered when this unit attacks an engaged enemy from behind. So we can just basically, it's like uh, Regid's ability, but we have to get a backstab for this to apply. Hmm, not really sure about that. I mean, it's not so hard to get ambushes with a ranger, but... Don't really know about this. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, guys, let's just just bear with me here, okay? Just, just, just watch, watch the magic happen, okay? Thank you for your service, sir, uh, sir, sir, Nicked. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and request that you. Wait, we just capture. <laughs> Um, All right, we have nothing else on him equipment wise, right? Yeah, so 
There you go. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and look at you. Um, listen. You're, you're, you're nicked now. Okay. Uh, well, welcome to the party, uh, nicked. I mean, uh, hey, nicked. Um, I like your new haircut. I think, I think, um, I think it suits you better than what you had previously. I let you shaved your face. You, you know, you combed your hair. It looks good. You know, it, it looks good. Well done. I'm proud of you. Uh, I, you know, keep up the good work. I, I think you're, I think you're doing a great job. I think, I think you're doing a great, great job. And I'm really proud of you for taking control of your hygiene. Well done. Well done. Yep. 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 And then, um, hey, so why don't you come sit by the fire now? Uh, uh, uh our friend Nicked. Uh, we, we got some new stuff for you. Um, or wait, no, no, never mind. You, you had this stuff all along. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we, we just cleaned it for you. Uh, there you go. There you go. Nice. Cool. I'm happy for you. Well done. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna travel up to Stromcap now. Ever everything's fine. Everyone say hello to Nicked. Say hello, Nicked, in the comments. Hello, Nicked. I like it's. It, tell Nicked you like their new haircut, and you, you like that they shaved their face. They look good. They they look really good. Yep. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So. I guess we have a, a, a good poisoner now. That's cool. I just didn't want to have too many of that specific class. Uh, I feel like if anything, I should be getting maybe another, another tank of sorts, another sword and board type character. Uh, so maybe that's what we work on now. Maybe we just bring another person to the party that can use sword and shield or something along those lines. Uh, what type of items do we have here? What type of, we have the companion sword. Uh, so that's cool. That's got team strike capability. The thing is, is that they're going to be alone with that. So it's kind of useless if you're only, if you only use one, uh, we could use the inquisition mace. We can get another, like another person that uses that. We could also see what kind of single hand or, you know, you know, one handed weapons we can craft real quick and see what goes on there. We have hypenus per salts. We have Anith. We don't need another swordsman. So maybe we see what kind of one-handed axes we can do and what kind of stuff they can really do out there with them, you know? Uh, I need to in inform the informant. There you go. We're informing the informant because that's, you know, we're doing their job for them. Let's take that bounty. We take the trade Korsha bounty again. That's for woolen cloth down in the southwest. Very good. Let's talk to you. I'm taking this pancake. Thank you. Let's go to the forge. And let's see what type of axe. Okay, so iron axe. Critical hits apply bleeding. It is a one-handed axe, right? just says axe yeah okay so that's a one-handed axe i don't have knowledge to make a steel axe bit of a predicament there i actually cannot make any one-handed weapons at all so oh no i do have the this it's movement down here it just takes white leather and coal to make Interesting. Okay. 
So I actually cannot make any really great one-handed weapons. So I guess we just kind of go around and see what kind of really good one-handed weapons we can buy and then base a character around that idea. I think that's the play. From here, we're gonna make our way back up to the Gossenberg region and see what kind of task we can do over there. But we'll do that, uh, we'll do that in the next video. For now, we're gonna leave this off here. Uh, we're gonna get a good night's rest with our new friend, uh, Nicked, who is now level five, a level five poisoner, very good. We'll see what kind of one-handed weapons we can find from traders that are walking about. Um, and then next time we see a mercenary that fits the bill for that, we can hire them and go from there. Let's see what this guy has real quick. We take the wheats. But okay, uh, let's make a save. Very good, guys. I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I hope you have been enjoying these videos. We're going to have another one coming very soon as well. I, uh, I want to get another mercenary in our group. I think that'll make it an even 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that'll make it an even 10 from there. Uh, let me actually, before we do go, we can finish this up with a quick camp. So let's do that. Let's see about this. Coral bracelet. Bracelets, bright colors, glimmer in the sunlight. Antiquity. So is it just a thing we sell? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, I think we just sell it. Okay, so we did put another one there. Um... It, it does stack them, but it just kind of keeps running through it. So that's good to know. Let's make a save there. Okay, guys, I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, watching the videos, of course. We'll have another one soon. We're going to go ahead and look around for another mercenary we can have join our band based on what type of quality weapons we can find out there, whether it's a sword, axe, or mace. I do have this Inquisition mace that I kind of want to see about using. Maybe. But, I don't know. I think it might be fun to use, especially if we can put it on uh, a heavy and just sit there and poke people and give them fever. Because the fever amplifies damage that they take as well. But, we're going to see about maybe finding a cool one-headed axe or sword with a different capability before we dedicate to that. In the meanwhile, we'll just go around collecting more money, completing more tasks, going from there. But anyways, I know it's a long goodbye. I'll be back soon for more, guys. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.